So hello everyone. Uh, this project is about email understanding. It's been given to us by Translated. Uh, I think it's been introduced by Sebastian earlier, but basically um, here it's use, um, the, it concerns us because uh, Translated creates uh, professional uh, translation services. And um, our task here is about mainly email, email classification and information extraction from those emails. So <clears throat> Translated receives about 4,000 emails like the one you see uh, on the left here. Um, although those emails can be written in any language and can really be about anything. So here on the left side, you can see an email that's actually a quote request. So that's what um, Translated is interested about. Um, usually it's not only those emails, they can really be like any type of emails and that's why you need to filter them. Um, so the translated pipeline about goes like that. Um, the client brings a quote request. Then the account manager at translated presents an offer uh, to the client who can either accept it or reject it. Um, so why do we need automation here? Because humans are perfectly capable of doing this job. Um, usually you would think that automation is made uh, to replace some human labor. So that's actually a reason why it's uh, important in this case. But the, the main point here is the conversion rate. So um, the speed at which the, email, the emails are processed is uh, extremely important for the conversion rate. And it turns out that um, machines are much faster than humans at uh, treating the emails. So uh, this is why we really need this. And a 30 minutes reduction in the response time gives a 15% increase in conversion rates, which is huge for uh, the company and for uh, the revenues. Uh, why is automation not trivial in that case? Uh, so the labels here are made automatically. So they're quite noisy and need like a little bit more cleanup. And the data annotation is not adapted to classic information extraction, uh, the, the one you, we used to for classic machine learning models. So now let's turn, let's look at the technical problem. You can see on the left side is the email that we saw earlier. Uh, we can see that here Susan Smith is uh, asking, hi, I want documents translated from German and Italian to English. Uh, and it's about 3000 words each uh, and they're legal documents requiring a review. So our model should read this email and first of all, figure out that it is a quote, uh, a quote request. Um, understand that the type of the request is a translation and that the translations that are asked are from German to English and from Italian to English. And then finally, it needs to um, extract the name of the person that you have to contact. So here it's Susan Smith. Okay, so in the last eight weeks, we have developed an automatic solution that will totally help translate it. This project is mainly divided into tasks. As you can see, this is like the first task in which we receive the email, then we pre-process the email, and we and this pre-processing email is the input to the request model classification. After this, we have like the email request, and because we don't have annotation data for doing a slot filling directly, we decided to change the problem to a multi-level classification and to a name entity recognition problem. So with these two approaches, we can detect the job type, the source and target languages, and also extract contact information from those emails. For doing this project, we have used multilingual Roberto Transformer from Facebook, and also a deep learning model from Google, which is multilingual bird. Here are some results for the classification task. In this slide, you can appreciate that, for example, our multilingual Roberto model achieve an AUC of 93. And with this model, we can discard automatically 20% of the emails and also rank all the emails to be reviewed by an account manager. In the case of the slot filling task, we have achieved in the field of language an accuracy of 72%, in the field of service required an accuracy of 82, and in contact information, a precision of 83 and a recall of 84. Finally, our work could be implemented in a bot. As you can see in a previous, in a previously bot in production, increased the productivity in June by making 60% of all the offers automatically. 
Some future work that we propose are create an ER data set for fields such as address and target languages. Also integrate the multiple models trained for each task into a pipeline, allowing translative to improve the classification model performance. And finally, and really important, annotate a significant amount of data as a slot filling task in order to train the whole process as an end-to-end -end pipeline. Finally, these are the team members of this project. First is Leah Trenchon, who has a bachelor in economics and computer science from Canada, and me, a bachelor in mechatronics and a research intern in computer science from Peru. Thank you for your attention.